Second Ezra chapter 16. Second Ezra chapter 16. I started 14. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. 17. Woe is me. Woe is me. Who would deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mourning. The beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars and the powers of shall stand in fear the beginning of evils what shall i do when these evils shall come first and foremost i want to give all praise honor and glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem rakakwadash niggas double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of great millstone the one that taught me the 100 percent truth according to the bible peace blessings and safety to all you sincere items, keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith with God. So people here forbear evils and only evils, plagues, diseases, a lack of food. These are all the things that are fastly, I mean, it's already starting, but it's going to turn up. All these things are fastly approaching, man. Fastly approaching. You didn't do not want to wait. You Israelites, Negroes, Latins, and Native American, and so-called, you do not want to wait. You want to seek the Lord now. Why he may be found. Why the men are still pushing his word. <coughs> Dust, pollen, diseases, plagues, famines, evils, bad times, earthquakes. And we go over these things over and over and over again. Because all through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, woe is me. This is a prophet speaking. It says, woe is me. Woe is me. This is Ezra speaking saying, woe is me. Woe is me. Who would deliver me in these days? He was talking about these times, man. As we're entering into our um, digital system, you see, everything is going digital. You got more and more jobs, you know what I'm saying, going, um, you're not receiving checks anymore. Pretty much, um, what's the word? Escapes me. That quick. Direct deposit. To where everything is like going straight to the bank now. You see, uh, they're going to start a, re a so called thing as a reset. To where everything's going to be pretty much digital. And you can see it coming down the pipeline. And on top of all that, the Lord said He's sending plagues upon the earth and they shall not return. You see? Let's get this again. 2 Ezra 16 14. Behold, which means to look, plagues are sent. Plagues now. Plagues are sent. Matter of fact, let's get the definition for the word plague. And this is something quick, right quick. I'm about to head out. Go make this daily bread. Abaratazah, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Plague. Turn it up, so. Plague. A contagious bacterial disease, that's one of them. A plague can be a, a disease, um, trouble, you see, cause, cause continually, continual trouble or distress. So, so that's what's coming. A whole lot of stress, man. Different diseases, you know, a lack of food, that's a plague. We always go into it as far as in the rats, you know, heavy infestation of rats. The the Lord said, I'm sending all these places, along with everything else, along with war, chaos, famine. And you know it's going to get bad, you know what I'm saying? Because look, the prophet seen what was coming down the pipeline. He says, woe is me. You know, look, the Lord said these places coming upon the whole earth. 17, second Ezra 16, 17. Woe was me, destruction. Woe was me, more destruction. Who would deliver me in those days? And look, um, Ezekiel was like, um, evils and only evils, behold, has come. It says the beginning of sorrows. He said, he said that was the beginning of sorrows. So how, so how bad is it really going to get, Israel? How bad is it really going to get? Because the Lord did say misery has come upon this, this whole earth. 
That's why that's why taking heed to Micah 2 and 10, this is not our arrest. We most definitely need to pray for We need to beg for mercy right now. All throughout the day. Before you go to sleep, just begging Yahweh Bashim Yahushua for mercy because we don't know if we're going to receive it. The scriptures, you know what I'm saying, prophesy of the Lord, just slaying people at will. The slaying of the Lord shall be many and brothers having visions, dreams of the Lord just killing man at will, man. You know what I'm saying? Bloodthirsty. You see, coming back real angry with a real angry look on his face. Man, that's how the Lord is coming back with a real angry look on his face. Cruel, angry, full of wrath. He says the beginning of famine. And great death, and the scriptures tell you famine is, is one of the worst ways that you can die. You know what I'm saying? Ultimately, that fire, of course, with famine, you know what I'm saying, man, it's a long, drawn-out, agonizing process, man, to where your body start eating off itself. That's why we must seek the Lord. That's why I say seek good and not evil, that ye may live. The, these scriptures are real, man. They're jumping, and they're jumping off the pages, man, as we read them. It says, and great death, the beginning of wars. All these different wars, skirmishes popping off. People fleeing from one part of the country to the other part of the country, seeking safety, seeking refuge. Well, this is our refuge, this word right here. This is our refuge. Matter of fact, let's get it right quick. Let's just go ahead and get it right quick. All hell bricklers, will, all hell bricklers, where you going to run to, Israel? Where can you run, Israel? All hell breaking loose. We running into that refuge, that strong tower. What is it? At? Um, Psalms 18. Bear with me. Let's see. Yep, Psalms um, 18 and 30. And it reads, As for Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, his way is perfect. That, that's, that's why you turn to the Lord, because his way is perfect. You see? The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all of those that trust in him, a.k.a. a refuge, a buckler, right? You see? Look, look, for all of those that trust in him. Let's go back. Let's go right on back. Second Ezra 16. And um 18 again at the bottom. Let's see. Matter of fact, I, I read the whole thing. Second Ezra 16, 18, the beginning of sorrows and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear of the kings of the earth. Starting to get nervous now, man. A whole lot coming down the pipeline. The beginning of evils meaning bad times. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Seek the Lord. You seek the Lord before they come. It says, um, before the evil days come not. Seek the Lord before the evil days come not. And the power shall stand in fear the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plagues, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for a minute. The Lord is doing all these things, everything in the lockdowns, all these different plagues. It's pretty much to put that fear in Israel <clears throat> so they'll turn back. But only the hopeful lack is going to turn back. You see, we, 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 we pretty much, we get it. You see? But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. <clears throat> they don't consider that the Lord is doing, is because the scourge means to whip. He's trying to whip them in shape so they'll return back, but they're not going to turn from their wickedness. Israel's not going to turn back. You already know these heathens are not going to turn back. Behold, victuals, meaning food, shall be so good cheap upon the earth. Going right back into the times of Noah. People were eating, drinking, marrying, giving in the marriage, thinking things was all good. So that great and dreadful day came upon them, right? You see? This is behold, victuals shall be... Visual, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And then that's the, that's the uh, mind state of these people right now. Everybody think it's all good. It's getting ready to go back to, to like the good old days. Nah, man. It's getting worse. The good old days gone, man. All right? 
The good old days is gone. The thrill is gone. It says, and even then, when you think it's all good, and even then shall evils grow upon earth, bad times, sword, famine, and great confusion. All right, aka Babylon. You see? It says, for many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, meaning die from the lack of food. And once your body can't um, get food, you become the food. You should know that already. You should have been did some research on that. It says, um, and the other that escaped the hunger, you might run into some food. You might find an underground bunker. You might find a pack of noodles or a can of beans or something. You might find some food. It says, the ones that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy, man. You see? That's why, that's why we seek the Lord. That's why we seek the Lord. Now, let's get this. I mentioned something, so I want to bring it out. Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who they even call God and Jesus, right? In the days of thy youth. While the evil mean the bad days come not. They're here now. The bad times are here now. You see? Nor the years draw not, and no government official will, will change it, no matter who you vote for. You know. You can do all the praying for this place you want to. It's still going down in, a, in your lifetime. So what they they're nominating a new um judge. That, that, that don't mean nothing. You see? Supreme Court judges and different lawyers, mayors, governors. That, that don't mean nothing. These things, are still, they can't stop what's coming. We read earlier in 2nd Ezra, 16th chapter, the plagues of sin. Who may return them? Who may turn them back? Nobody. You see? Nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. So you don't want to wait till all hell break loose. You don't want to wait till you shit out of luck, so to speak. You don't, you don't want to wait till you're a bum on the street. You done lost your job. You done lost your house, car, family. Everybody done got destroyed. Now you want to seek the Lord. Do, do I, look, look. The smart, wouldn't it be the smart thing is to do it now? Wouldn't the smart thing be to seek the Lord now? It says, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. You see? But the simple pass on and are, the, and are punished. Michael chapter 2, verse 10. And it reads, arise and depart. Come out of the customs, the, come out of the mind state of this place. Hearing all these scriptures about destruction, famine, plagues and all that. The Lord said, arise and depart. Come out of the customs, the ways, the philosophies, the doctrine, the dogma of this place, man. That has been push, pushing their arm um, nonsense throughout the four corners of the earth, that democracy nonsense, which ain't never helped nobody out. You know, only thing democracy do is make our um, society worse than it already is. That's all, that's all it does. For this is not your rest. This ain't our rest. The Lord, the Lord's telling us what he's bringing. Don't get comfortable here. No matter what you have been blessed with, don't get comfortable here. Nice car, nice job, nice home, little royalties and things of that nature. Still keep your eyes on the prize. Planes still dropping the hell out of the sky. You see, fires everywhere, violence everywhere. Keep your eyes open, man, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. So once again, this is not our rest. This is not our rest. What was that at? Um, let's see. Ezekiel seven. And I'm about to wrap it up because I, I got to roll. So I'm about to wrap it up. Ezekiel chapter seven. I just want to hit a point. Ezekiel seven and five. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, in evil. Meaning bad times and only evil, more bad times. Behold, it's come. And the Lord told us to give you one from Him. That's what this and plus the scripture say, be afraid, be very afraid, man. You see? The Lord said this land is defiled with the blood that was shed therein, and this land can't be cleansed of the blood that was shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. 
And, and then the thing about this, the Lord said, the righteous shall scarcely be saved. The righteous shall scarcely be saved. Let's bring out one more. Let's bring out one more, Second Ezra, the 14th chapter. The Lord said prophesy, so that's what we do. Starting off with the head apostles slash other bits of great millstone. That's all we do is prophesy. Second Ezra, we go on, we go into all the current events through the spirit. Second Ezra chapter 14. You ain't got to take heed. Second Ezra chapter 14, verse 16. For greater evils, greater evils, man, than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. So everything that we're seeing there is light work. All this chaos, you see, all these bad times that we're seeing now, the Lord said, look, that, that's light work. He says, greater evils, greater bad times is going to happen upon the earth. And there ain't no escape. Our only way out is through Yahweh by Shem Shai. You see, that, that's it, Israel. Israel should know that now. You see? You should know that right now. Like Hebrews, the 13th chapter, verse 14 says, For here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. Remember, Israel, this is not our rest. Walk circumspectly. Matter of fact, I'll bring out one more. I'll bring out that, I'll bring out that um, Ephesians. Then I'll wrap it up. Ephesians chapter 5. I go, I'm going straight to the point. Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that you are circumspectly. So I'll be looking around at what's going on, Israel. Pay attention, Israel. You got people going crazy over summer break, spring break, and all this. That people ain't thinking the sun that came out is getting kind of warm. These people ain't thinking about a damn thing, man. Just fun in the sun. Ain't nothing wrong with having a little bit of fun, but keep your eyes on the prize, man. Don't get caught up in the cares and affairs of this world. I'll tell you that in St. Luke, the 21st chapter. I'm thinking um, 31 on down. St. Luke chapter 12, verse 31 on down. Read that. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. You can't be walking around like a bunch of fools, man. Not, not in these times. You see, not in no time, but especially not in these times, man. You could have been foolish in the 80s, 70s, the 80s, a little bit of the 90s, but not now, man. 2022, the year turn up, hell no. Let's all get it together, man. Repent, turn back, fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, be brotherly, rehearse the righteous acts to the best of your ability, because evils and only evils is here. Shalom.